welcome friends in this one let's take a look at finding the domain of say f of x y and then find an expression of, say as ln of x minus y so because we have the ln function present that tells us that x minus y the argument has to be greater than zero not equal to so just add y to both sides which then tells us that x has to be greater than y once we know this, we can express this in set builder notation. So nice curly brace, parentheses, x comma y. Those are your points. And then a vertical bar, of course, that we read as such that. So the set of all points of the form x comma y such that x is greater than y. And then terminate with a nice matching curly brace. Now often you are asked to sketch this out. So draw a vertical axis, draw a horizontal axis. For the purposes of sketching the inequality x is greater than y, usually it just gets translated into x equals y, so that we can mark the boundary line very easily. But then you have to keep in mind that it is greater than. That means when you mark the boundary, you're going to follow x equals y, but dash it because it is strictly greater than. That means, in other words, you're going to have this situation here pretty much like this. Okay, imagine it's a perfectly straight line. And lastly, you are also asked to shade either above and below the line. So choose a sample point. We'll choose for the sake of simplicity the point 1, 0. Remembering that this is x and this is y. So you just check, is 1 greater than 0, right? You're asking, in other words, is the value of x at that point greater than the value of y at that point? T for true here, clearly. So, of course, then this tells us that we would shade the region that pretty much looks like this, below the line, so to speak and points not on the boundary line, but everything else. You can see if I like if it's been helpful.